The Championship is often described as one of the most difficult weeks to get out of in Scotland. Do, do you see this as one of the more difficult challenges you've had, or perhaps even the most difficult challenge you've had in your managerial career so far? Um, listen, I think it's different to other challenges that I've had. I mean, in terms of uh, when I started out at Alloa, you know, the aim was to try and get out of League One. We managed that. Then when we went up to the Championship, we were the only part-time team in the league at that time and everybody had written us off before the ball was kicked and we managed to survive. The next season at St Mirren was different where you're fighting a, a relegation battle and just surviving by the skin of your teeth. Uh, Aberdeen again is different to that where you know, you've got to be up the other end of the table competing. So I think every club has got its own different objectives and different ambitions and you know, we're, um, you know, I'm not going to try and play things down or um, mind games or anything like that. You know, we know the position that we are in. We're going to be heavy favourites before a ball is kicked, just because of the badge that's on the jersey. But that doesn't give you any divine right going into games. You know, I think uh, when I was at Alloa playing against teams like Dundee United in the Championship, uh, we always tended to raise our game and we always looked forward to those games. So that's the way I'm looking at how the opposition will perceive us. I think the pressure will be on us. We have to handle that level of expectation. And um, to do that, you need to have strong characters within the group. And I think, you know, we have that and we're going to continue to try and add to that as well. Do you feel that that's partly why you went for the players that you went for, a good engine room to, to deal with the, the environment you're going to be playing in? Players who are going to, you know, give as, as well as take, obviously, the, the challenges that come their way and look at bringing in more flair players now that that engine room's in place? Yeah, but look, like I said, I, I think, um, you know, one of the... Uh, one of the negatives for me last season within the squad was the balance within the squad. I thought we had too many players who were very similar to each other. Whereas I think what we're trying to do now is trying to get that balance right where you've got guys that can do a little bit of everything. You know, Doherty's a very good footballer. He's been one of the most consistent midfielders in the championship for a number of years. Um, you know, he's, he dictates games a lot. Um, but he can also do the ugly side of the game, as I said previously to, to one of the other questions. Grimshaw is very similar. And um, yeah, and Kevin Holt had a brilliant season last year but with Partick, and both himself and Doherty were very unfortunate not to have went up with Partick Thistle. So I think the signings that we've made have been, um, you know, there's been a lot of consideration gone into them. We believe that the players are more than good enough at being a part of this team to help us get out of the league, but we also think that they can make that step up to the Premier League as well next season, which is why we've made them the kind of offers that we've made. So, um, yeah, we just need to try and get the balance right between experience, youth, energy, pace, and um, and it's you know never a bad thing to have guys who have also been there and done it before. Looking at plans that are going to be coming through the doors, they will come through year in, year out, as they always do from there. How important it is for them to understand the, the importance of the, the end result, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. How important is it for them to understand that when they're coming to games? Well, you know, the supporters have been magnificent um, since I, you know, came to the club. Um, you know, I think we were all blown away by the level of support that we got toward the end of last season when things, you know, um, were going badly. You know, a lot of other fans may have turned their back on the club, but our, our guys didn't. They kept turning out in large numbers, even away from home, travelling in in great numbers as well. So, um, yeah, we we feel as if we we owe them something. Uh, the guys who were here last season, and myself included, we feel as if we need to give them something to be optimistic about and to be excited about. And, um, you know, we want them to be proud of the team that they support. And that's my job as a manager, to make sure that I put a, a team on the park that will give absolutely everything in every single game that we go into. And, um, you know, we're not going to have it all our own way. We respect the opposition that we're up against, um, but you know I think we've got a really good, professional, honest group of players there who know exactly what it takes, and um, we'll do whatever we have to, to to try and win every game that we go into. You're maybe not familiar, or the fans are maybe not familiar with you very much. Yeah. But if you were writing a social media bio yep. to sell yourself to the fans, what would it be in it? Um, probably like I've just said there. You know, I, I'm an hard-working player, but I'd like to think I. You know, I, I can, I can produce on ball as well. I've not played midfield as much as I, you know, I maybe wanted to in my career. Um, so hopefully, I get given that chance here. I can, um, you know, kick on and take my game to the next level. Really, the, the fans at Dundee United are very enthusiastic, very vocal, and, and, and good. 
how does that make you feel as a player being able to play in front of as you know, a fan base like that? Oh yeah, it's massive. I mean, I think first and foremost, as players ourselves, we need to, um, you know, we need to give them something to shout about. And if you can, if you can do that, if you can get the fans on side, especially at a club like Dundee United, with that, you know, um, great fan base, and it only helps in general, really. Do you know what I mean? It's it can only it's almost like a 12th man off off the field, aren't it? Do you know what I mean? It can only help us on the field. So yeah, it's great to be. Uh, you know, coming playing against uh, in front of a big crowd. And, and looking towards the new season, obviously for yourself, quick turnaround. Five play cup just round the corner. Yep. First league game against Ardoth on the fourth of August. This whole season for you players must be getting shorter and shorter. How do you adapt to that? Yeah, well, to be fair, I had quite a decent amount of time off. Um, you know, we finishing finish the season at Morton. I think we finished up fifth the May or something like that. But I know that lads here, they were playing right up until end of May, weren't they? So, like you just said there, I think. Uh, sport in general now there's just basically no seasons in any sport you know like you still see England under 21s are playing at the moment you know they've not had a rest them lads so that's just how the game's gone really and I think you know that's why fitness is such a big big thing now in football and um, squads as well you know having a decent size squad and stuff so yeah it's you know probably not ideal for some lads but um, certainly worse things to be doing. <laughs>